this is Tim, and today we're gonna to talk about how to wire a four to 20 milliamp signal. Now, if you're not wiring to a meter, let's say you're wiring to a PLC input, the principles of this are gonna be exactly the same. So if we were wiring, say, to this Compact Logix PLC, or this Micrologix 1100 PLC, this Micro 820, or any other brand, it'll be exactly the same as what we're gonna to do to our meter today. So the first thing to determine about your sensor is is it a two wire or a four wire sensor? And really easily, if it only has two wires coming out of it, chances are it is a two wire sensor. Now, if it has more wires than that coming out, then there's more probability that it's a four wire sensor, especially if it requires an external power supply. So if you look in the manual of your analog input module, you'll see a wiring diagram example, probably similar to this one right here. And we have a two wire transmitter example and a four wire transmitter example. And those are the two we're gonna go over today. Now the main thing we're gonna be using on our PLC trainer is the analog gauge, which I also have it where we can see the value right back here. And we're gonna be using the power supply. On our trainer, our voltage input is terminal one, and then terminals two and three are plus and minus of our meter, which would be the same as a PLC input. So the main two types of transmitters that you'll run into will be the current loop two wire and the current source four wire. And the biggest difference between those is a two wire device will be powered off an external loop and a current source will usually generate its own power. This is the circuit for our current two wire device. We have a power supply, which in our case is gonna be our 24 volt power supply. Then we're gonna go from the positive of our power supply to the positive of our instrument. Here's where it gets a little tricky, is from there, we're gonna go from the negative of our instrument to the positive of our PLC input, or in our case, the positive of our meter. Then we're gonna go back out of the negative of our meter to the negative of the power supply, and that will make our current loop. This is by far the simplest type of instruments, as long as you get those positive and negative straight. Also, you'll find a lot of two-wire devices are very low power, which can mean that they may be intrinsically safe or good for explosion-proof environments. So let's go ahead and wire up a two-wire circuit. So we're gonna start with a power wire, so it'll be our 24 volt plus, and then that is gonna to go to the black terminal of our analog simulator. It's right here, we have a nice little side post that you can just slide the wire through. Tighten that down. Then we're gonna go from our red terminal to the positive of our meter. Finally, we're gonna go from the negative of our meter to the negative of our power supply, and that will complete our loop. So now that we have our two wire circuit wired up, the bottom display on our meter is the milliamp signal. So we run it up, we can run it all the way to 20 milliamps, and we show 20 milliamps on our meter. And those are the basics of how to wire a two wire device. So we went from the plus of our 24 volt power supply to our analog instrument. And then we came out of our analog instrument to our PLC input, and then out of it, to the common, completing a complete powered loop. Also in a later video, we're gonna go through how you can actually have multiple devices in your loop. And one thing to be concerned about doing that is load resistance. So typically you can handle about a thousand ohms max on your loop. Beyond that, the 24 volt power supply won't be able to drive 20 milliamp through the circuit. So now let's talk about a current source device. A current source, is usually externally powered. So it may be powered by 24, 120, 480. Really, it can be powered by anything. It's gonna create its own milliamp signal. So you won't have to externally power the loop like you did on the current two wire. Now on your current source diagram, it's gonna be a lot easier to wire up because you wire the transmitter, you wire power to it, whether it be 24, 120 or whatever it is. And then the positive of your transmitter milliamp signal connects to the positive of your PLC input. And the negative of your transmitter connects to the negative of your PLC input. So here's the positive of our transmitter. We'll connect it to the positive of our meter. And here's the negative of our transmitter. And we'll connect it to the negative of our meter time instead of selecting current two wire we'll select current source which is a four wire device
And there goes the bottom meter. And the bottom meter is our milliamp signal. And we can bring it all the way up to 20 milliamp. And that is how a current source is wired. I hope this video has been helpful. Big takeaway from this is make sure you understand the current two wire diagram versus the current four wire diagram and make sure you understand what type of transmitter you have so you know how to wire it up. Coming up, we're going to be going through how PLC actually reads a milliamp signal and also some really good troubleshooting tips. Till next time. Hi, this is Tim. And this is Amber of TW Controls. We run the automation store. Be sure to subscribe for more great videos. And like this video and comment on what you would like to see next. Visit our website where we offer a full line of PLCs, simulators, control panels, PLC trainers, and more.